Life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. Mm-hmm. It's fucking around. It's a piece of gum. But, yeah. It's just going to be kind of like one of those random times where I tell you a story. And probably rant and ramble like I am now. <clears throat> so, just finished up a review. Thought I might uh, record a bit of a story here for y'all. This is the story of how I got my busted knee. Which has caused me a shit ton of problems ever since. Okay, so as you can guess, this starts out in high school. Or I should say, as you can probably guess, this does start out in high school. Um, so before I go into that story, I'll just give you a little bit of background on myself. In high school, I was that kid that uh, sat off in the corner, minding their own business, you know, nice, quiet, and anybody who came near me got the stare of death. Um, yeah, I was a very creepy person back then. I kind of still am, and the creepiness has probably gotten worse, but, you know, I've learned to embrace it, so, anyway. So, there was this kid in high school, um, his name is Garrett. Um, I don't give out last names ever, so, let's go with Garrett. And... No, uh, I kind of knew the guy a little bit. I mean, I didn't really know too many people in high school because I kept to myself so much. I never was a very uh, extroverted person, as you would say. I'm introverted. I look inwards quite a bit uh, to other people. So, yeah, there was this guy in high school named Garrett. Um, We were sitting there in the lunchroom one day. He was... Uh, sitting behind me um, and I was just I was sitting over there eating my lunch minding my own business and someone decides or, or actually it was a, a kid there Garrett he decides that he doesn't like the chair sitting next to him so he decides to you now slide it over to the table across from him which I just happened to be sitting at well, it, it hits the back of my chair, and naturally I am surprised and a little bit annoyed, so I take the chair, and I, well, probably a little bit harder than I should have, slide it back over to the table where it was originally at, because fuck, it shouldn't be where I'm sitting anyway, and by that point, you now I think it's all over, it's all done, no more interactions going to happen here, and what do I know? Next thing is happening. This kid has picked up this chair, walked over to where I'm sitting, minding my own business, eating my lunch, and he takes the corner of the chair. And now these chairs, they are really, really cheap. They're just uh, metal and like two plastic rods bent into uh, legs. Or fucking or. No, it's plastic for seating and two metal rods bent into legs. I just realized what I said there. Man, that sounds kind of stupid. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's the metal is like uh, steel or some shit like that. Some fairly heavy duty so I could take the abuse of everyday use. So he takes his chair, he picks it up. He takes the corner of it and slams it right onto my knee, the corner of my kneecap there. As you can imagine, this is quite painful. And something inside me just kind of, well, it snapped. And you know that, uh, oh, the primitive part of your brain that you, uh, in you just hold back all the fucking time? I decided to let it loose, and it said smash his skull in with said chair. Now, 
I did pick the chair up. I did attempt to smash said skull in with chair. Um, seems the only issue was, though, that uh, there was a teacher nearby. And, uh, yeah, the teacher did not take kindly to me attempting to uh, kill another student for some shit that I really shouldn't have cared about. But after this is all said and done, they dragged me down to the principal's office, blah, 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 blah. They say, if you ever do this again, we're kicking your ass out and having you arrested. Actually, I think they had me arrested anyway, but they let me go like five minutes later, so it wasn't really a big deal. Now, just one of those high school fights, but afterwards, I go to the, the doctor after school, get myself checked out just to make sure nothing's wrong, and lo and behold, my knee is fucked. It is fractured. It had uh, fluid on the joint. And yeah, I really wanted to kill that motherfucker after that because I was walking around with a knee brace and a crutch for the next month. And I fucking hate walking on crutches. I mean, I've had to wear a knee brace off and on since then. Damn. Shit. Needless to say, after I attempted to do smash his skull in with the chair at that time, nobody messed with me again. Ever. So I guess the entire point of this, if you want to take a moral out of this story, fucking stand up for yourself. Don't take the bullshit. People leave you alone. Pretty much. Yeah. Well, next time.